When honesty is sorely lacking, some people take the liberty to lie and cheat, either behind their backs or directly to their faces. Infidelity is one of the most common ways to hurt or even destroy a love relationship. Day by day, we see how many couples go through an episode as painful as this. This is the story of Mike, a young man who fought hard to fulfill one of his great dreams, to serve his country, to become a well-known military man. Mike fell madly in love with Leah, a woman who captivated him with her beauty. For work reasons, he was sent on a mission where he would not return for a long time. Before leaving, he asked Leah to marry him. He hoped that the time would pass as soon as possible so that he could be with her again without becoming a devastating relationship upon his return. Isabella and Arturo, a newly married young couple, struggled for several years to become parents. They had undergone numerous treatments, having gone through discouraging diagnoses. When they were already giving up, life surprised them with the news of their pregnancy. That afternoon was unforgettable for both of them. Most of the pregnancy, Isabella spent in bed keeping absolute rest. Arturo, due to his work as a lawyer, divided his time in the office and in his house. He gave himself time for everything in order to see his wife well and his baby who was on the way safely. When the day of the baby's birth arrived, Arturo and Isabella were very excited. At last, they would have in their arms the fruit of their great love that spread. That's how little Mike got here. They both chose that name that meant doing good, and that was just what they wanted for their little boy. Isabella and Arturo's life changed considerably, but all for the better. The joy they felt having the little boy with them was indescribable. Little Mike grew up in an environment full of love and happiness. As Mike got older, his parents fell more in love with him. He became a very supportive and empathetic child, who from a very young age had a great desire to become a soldier and serve his country through his brave job. His parents let him choose what he wanted to do. At first, they didn't take much importance because they believed that it was just the product of a child's age, and they were sure that all this would change over time. They considered that the life of a soldier was very dangerous, that it put his life at risk, and the last thing they wanted was for their son to go through something bad. Mike had already grown up. He was quite a teenager, and his desire to be a great soldier had become stronger. His mother seemed a little upset when Mike told her about his great desire to serve his country. However, that was not an impediment for him. He was sure of what he wanted in his life and had promised himself that he would achieve it. When Mike had already finished school, he decided to sign up as a volunteer to be enrolled in the Army. His mother was sad. She didn't want to separate from her only son, but that was his great dream. During his separation stage, Mike met a beautiful woman who, from the first moment he saw her, left him captivated. This woman was called Leah. She was the niece of an important Army official. That's why her constant attendance at the barracks where the first time they saw each other was justified. At first, Mike was afraid to establish communication with Leah. He'd noticed that she was a very pretty girl and much admired by others. He had a lot of bows after her, and it was very likely he didn't take much notice of her. After thinking about it for many weeks, Mike decided to talk to her for the first time. Leah, at all times, was very friendly. She gave him a lot of security, even invited her to dinner. She, of course, accepted. They had agreed to meet the next day at a well-known restaurant in the city. Mike couldn't wait for that moment to come already. When they got home, Mike told his mother what had happened, who encouraged him throughout. She was very happy to see her son so excited about a girl. It was the first time she'd seen him like this. When the day of the dinner arrived, Mike looked more handsome than usual. His mother praised him heaps. Upon arriving at the restaurant, Mike could see how beautiful Leah was, being totally stunned. That night was unforgettable. Leah told him about the plans she had for the future. She wanted to be a great business graduate. At the moment, she was helping her uncle with some administrative procedures at the barracks. Therefore, her presence there was very recurrent. Mike expressed his desire to serve the country and become a fundamental piece. That night, she had a great time. They got along well in every way. The outings between the two became constant. Almost a year had passed since they first saw each other. Mike was doing very well in the Army and was just a short time away from graduating. Leah continued to collaborate with her uncle. She continued to visit the barracks frequently. During a dinner, Mike's mother chatted with him and asked about his plans for the future. Mike replied that he wanted to become a great military man and along with it managed to marry Leah. He had not yet formally asked to marry her, but he hoped to establish himself financially and be able to do so. He wanted to provide her with a safe and promising future. He didn't want anything to go missing. His mother felt very proud to hear the words of her son. She felt that she'd done a good job, and Mike had become a great man. 
After several months had passed, Mike was decided to send him on a mission to a very remote place where he would take at least five years to return. Mike didn't think twice and met the day with his parents. While everyone was there, he asked Leah to marry him, promising that when he returned, they would marry. Leah accepted with a resounding yes. They both looked in love and their parents couldn't be happier. On the day of Mike's departure, everyone was sad, but they were comforted by the hope that time would pass as quickly as possible and soon they would all be together. As the months passed, the communication between Leah and Mike was constant. Mike had decided to send her money and thus buy a house where they could both live. He wanted Leah to lack for nothing and he was determined to achieve it. Thanks to his effort, performance and sacrifice, he was able to buy a house plus a car and thus, little by little, he was enlarging his assets. He couldn't wait to go back and marry his beloved Leah. The big day came when Mike would return after being so far away for a long time. Who went to meet him at the airport was his mother, Isabella, who, upon seeing him arrive safe and sound, she couldn't hold back her tears and gave him a huge hug. Isabella took her son home. While there, she made a strong revelation to Mike. She told him that six months after his trip, Leah had been seen messing with different men at their house and everything seemed to indicate that she was being unfaithful. If she hadn't told him anything about what had happened before through the phone call, it was because she didn't think that these types of issues should be discussed over the phone. Rather, it had to be done in person. That's why she was doing it just like that at that moment. She asked him to take it all in stride and talk to her right away. Hearing this, Mike did not hesitate to go looking for Leah. When he arrived at the house they had bought, he found Leah in the living room, and it was there that Mike decided to talk to her. Mike noticed Leah looking a little haggard and asked her if everything was all right. Leah answered yes. Mike asked her if the rumors about her were true, and Leah bowed her head. Suddenly, Mike began to feel a great fear that invaded his entire body. Leah confessed that it was true that she'd been unfaithful to him and that, as a result, she was pregnant. The news perplexed Mike. He asked her with whom she had cheated on him, and she answered very embarrassed that she had an infinity of lovers who had been at least 40 men, and that because of this she didn't know who the father of the child would be. Not even in his wildest dreams could Mike have imagined such a scene. He didn't think Leah was capable of such barbarity. Leah promised him that she would return all her things to him. The last thing she wanted was to continue ruining Mike's life. Mike was totally devastated and heartbroken. His parents supported him in this painful process. Since then, he dedicated himself 100% to his work. He no longer wanted to even contemplate the idea of falling in love again. One of the worst things that can happen to us in life is to be betrayed by those we blindly trust one day, because betrayal fertilizes and gives rise to the feeling of anguish and mistrust that makes us unable to look at the person that one day we love in the same way. However, despite this, one must know that life goes on and one must always try in these situations to ensure one's own well-being and continue with life. So for today's video, my dear listeners, we hope you liked it as much as I did. If you like the story, please don't forget to share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to activate the notifications bell so YouTube can notify you every time we upload a new video at Viral Story. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.